to my channel. So after I saw last night's episode of Life After Lockup, I knew I had to come up on here and talk about Taylor and Chance first. And I gotta say, I saw a clip on Taylor's IG and it showed like a short clip of this last episode before we saw it. And when I saw the clip, it just kind of made me side-eye the direction the storyline was going and I wasn't sure how authentic it is. But after seeing the full episode and the context, I'm convinced that this is all real. And Chance is just really that bad of a fiance. So Taylor still has no idea that Chance lost his job. And he spent all day doing grocery deliveries. He was driving all over town. And Taylor noticed that Chance, she knows where he's supposed to be working that day. He's not there. He's all over town, even going a few towns over. So Taylor started to get suspicious. So knowing Chance, I'm honestly shocked that he is yet to disable his tracker. But Taylor actually cleared things up and she said that Chance is unable to disable it because it's actually hooked up to his car. So Taylor is furious. She grabs Bobby. They rush down to the local bar where Chance's current location is showing. And as soon as they show up, Taylor's all upset. She's all distressed and having like a little mini panic attack in the car. She's crying from the jump as soon as she pulls up because she already knows Chance is lying to her about where he's supposed to be. And she just kept repeating she doesn't understand why Chance isn't honest with her. And that's because Chance doesn't want to hear what she has to say or how she feels about it. He just wants to do what he wants to do. And so Taylor and Bobby, they walk inside the bar. And as soon as they walk in, Chance is sitting down with his friend Tanya. And Tanya is like lecturing Chance. She's like, I don't understand why you thought it would be a good idea to just get out of prison, move in with this girl and all her kids, and then knock her up and get her pregnant. And as soon as Tanya was saying that, speak of the devil, Taylor's right there walking up to Chance and Tanya. So Chance was like, oh my god, Taylor's right there. So Taylor and Bobby, they walk right up to Chance and Tanya sitting down. And Taylor's sitting there crying, so Chance asked her what was wrong. And Taylor said nothing, but you could tell and read all over Taylor's face and just see her tears. And you could tell that she was clearly very upset. So Taylor was like, I just don't understand why you can't be honest with me and just tell me that you're going to go hang out with Tanya. And of course, Chance gaslit Taylor into making it sound like it was all her fault because he's like, because I can't tell you anything. And he's like, and even if I told you, what would have been your response? And Taylor was like, well, do you even really have to even ask me that? So Taylor could not hold back the tears. She was crying so hard. She was visibly very distressed. And she ends up walking off away from the table. And instead of Chance getting up and comforting his woman like he should, trying to help calm her down or talk to her, he just sits there, ignores her. As his fiance is sitting there literally falling apart in a public bar because of your actions. And Chance just completely ignores her. And he has all his attention focused on his friend Tanya and alcohol. The alcohol that was right in front of him. And he decided that was enough for him. So he had to go order four more double shots on top of that. Of what appeared to be either tequila or rum. I couldn't tell one or the other. And Chance was already trash at this point. He did not need no more alcohol. And when he brought back this four double shots of alcohol back to the table, even his friend Tanya was concerned. She was like, wait a minute. I thought you were cut off. And so Chance started embarrassing himself and making a huge scene after he sat there with all the shots. And I guess he was trying to give Taylor a shot, Bobby a shot, one for him. And one for Tanya, I think he was hoping everybody would just get drunk and forget this ever happened. And so when his plan didn't go as he wanted to and nobody was taking his shot, he got all mad and he decided to try to grab all the shots and hurry up and just chug them real fast. And Taylor was like, what are you doing? And she tried to fight him for one of the shots. And this dude literally was fighting her for this glass of alcohol. Which is real smart, you know, let's go spend hundreds of dollars at the bar getting drunk after we just lost our job. And Chance is just digging himself a deeper hole at this point. So then Chance had the nerve to say that he doesn't care how Taylor feels. And I believe him. And typically, like they say, the truth usually comes out when people are drunk. And especially for Taylor to be breaking down and falling apart. And Chance just to be sitting there ignoring her and drinking and saying he's going to call his friend to pick him up. That really is showing me that he does not care about her or how she feels whatsoever. 
It just seems like he blames Taylor for everything wrong in his life. Shoot, he's probably blaming Taylor for why he lost his job in his mind. And meanwhile, all this mess was going on. I couldn't help but wonder who was watching the girls that night. Like, especially because Chance was supposed to be watching them. And he ditches the girls, that Taylor's girls, he was supposed to be babysitting to go get drunk. And that would have been the first question and concern if I was Taylor. As soon as I walked up to Chance, I'd be like, well, who is watching the girls? And I would not trust Chance to babysit the girls for a while. So after he fought Taylor for the cup of alcohol, he's like, you control every other aspect of my life. You're not going to control my drinking too. And he was just acting out of hand. And Tanya was like, walked up to him and she's touching and feeling all over him trying to like calm him down and it looked like he, she was like his girlfriend he she was doing to him what chance should have been doing to taylor to help taylor calm down and comfort taylor when she was in distress so after that chance tried to go back up to the bar and get more alcohol but thank god they ended up cutting him off so he was like oh well screw it i'll just go right down the street and get it at the liquor store and his friend tanya and the producers were like no you wait you're not about to get in your truck and drive off so chance was like you know what yes i am and he walks out and him and tanya i guess the people at the bar told him that there's a back door through the men's bathroom so him and tanya walk to the men's bathroom together and even when they're in the bathroom walking through there together i think tanya is definitely more than just a friend because chance whispered he's like oh you're gonna make her hella jealous so obviously she was doing something inappropriate for him to say something like that and if i was taylor i would have been tripping if i saw another woman go in the bathroom with my fiance I would have been running right into that bathroom too. And so they go outside and Chance and Tanya are literally walking with their arms around each other all super close. And then Taylor and Bobby decide to go outside. And literally uh, Tanya is telling Chance, come on, let's just go to AA meeting drunk right now. And Chance was like, okay, let's go. And they're about to go in the in his truck and drive off. And then all of a sudden Taylor comes up and she's like, you guys are not going anywhere. And Taylor finally voiced how she felt. She's like, um, you need to stop touching all over him. It does not make me feel comfortable whatsoever. So all of a sudden, Tanya backed off. She tried to go back inside the bar and saying she didn't want to be in between all the drama. And Chance was freaking out on Taylor. And Taylor's like, well, you're all arm in arm, all snugged up with her. Talking to her while you're ignoring your fiance. And I'm visibly upset. And Chance was like, I don't care about how you feel completely dismissing and invalidating all her feelings and then he sat there and told taylor that he she can just have bobby move in and sleep in the bed with her and then he'll just like move on out and bobby can take his place and bobby actually seemed pretty excited about that idea she said she feels like taylor deserves better she said she'll move in and pick up all the extra slack and a heartbeat and help taylor out but at the same time i feel like Taylor really needs to make sure that Bobby's in a better place first because she doesn't want to put her kids at risk again after what happened last time she was living with her. But I'm so glad that Bobby was there for Taylor in this time because it seems like Taylor really needs somebody there to comfort her and validate her feelings since Chance isn't willing to do any of that and he just wants to gaslight Taylor into blaming her and seem like she's a reason for all his problems. And so Taylor goes to her car. She's breaking down. She's like, I don't know what to do because it seems like Taylor at that point was strongly considering just maybe exiting out of this whole relationship but it seems like she's built so much with him that she's scared of that and she sat there she's having a panic attack she said she couldn't feel her hands and she was just so upset and chance he got picked up by either an uber or one of his friends and he left at least he didn't leave with tanya at least they separated because i was afraid that he was gonna run taylor off and then end up running away with tanya for the night I do feel bad for Taylor. I genuinely do. But at the same time, I also have to remember she did choose to have this guy that was in prison for robbing a bank and move him into her house with her and her three young girls. And she completely gave him all this control and put all her trust into him before even giving him a chance to even prove himself. Before she decided to move him in with her kids and then next thing you know she's engaged and then she's pregnant by the dude. 
And now she's seeing his true colors and realizing how Chance really is. And she's not liking the true picture of who Chance is and how he really doesn't care about how she feels. I think Chance is by far one of the biggest narcissists we have seen on the show in a while. And I feel like after everything we've seen on this season, if Taylor hasn't left Chance by now, I don't think there's anything he can do to make her leave him at this point. And I think Chance deep down knows that and that's another reason why he chooses to continue to just keep doing what he wants to do and hiding things from her because he knows at the end of the day it's not going to make a difference in the relationship. Especially it's like if you're going to trap the man, go there and find him with another woman. If you're just going to cry and not do anything and just stay with him, then what's the point of doing all that for? Just like Monique, I'll never understand like why Monique continues to go through Derek's phone and she keeps finding stuff but she just stays with him anyways even when she finds out that he's cheating on her. So it's like what makes a difference if there's anything on his phone or not if it's not going to change anything at the end of the day. So Taylor and Chance, I feel like if this much is happening just off them filming with them for a few weeks and I'm sure usually when people are filming like they don't act as chaotic as they normally would. Like Chance, especially this last episode, I feel like he was definitely off the rails even more because he was drunk. But I feel like people usually tone it down when they're filming. So I can't even imagine what Chance probably be doing when they're not filming and all the shenanigans that he'd be up to. And I hope Taylor realizes that her daughters are watching the way that Chance treats her and they're going to grow up and they're going to find men like Chance and they're going to think that that type of behavior is acceptable. So I really hope that Taylor, if she's not at least leaving Chance, she at least reinforces that that type of behavior is not acceptable in a relationship, especially the father of one of your children. But that's it for this video, guys. Let me know your thoughts about everything in the comments below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching.